Hello and welcome to a new feature on the Flying Reporter YouTube channel. Every fortnight I'll be visiting a new aerodrome and exploring its services, facilities and giving you a brief video guide of what to expect should you come and visit. Today I'm at Popham between Basingstoke and Winchester in Hampshire. The point of these reviews is to give you a look around an aerodrome before you visit, pick out some key information and perhaps inspire you to fly somewhere you haven't been to before. These videos aren't a replacement for proper pilot research and are not official sources of flight planning information, but you may find something here that you won't find listed anywhere else. Popham is a grass airfield which stands up pretty well in the winter I'm told but you need to be careful with braking after wet weather because it's located on chalk. There are two runways, runway 2608 is the main approved runway and listed to be 890 metres long. Runway 2103 at 900 metres is used if the wind favours it or the main runway is closed for any reason. Runway 03 is on a downslope. Unlike many airfields in the UK, Popham is quite young. First flights were flown here in the early 1970s. The aerodrome operates with an air ground communication service. They have an experienced team in the tower, or the loft as they prefer to call it, who are used to handling a busy traffic environment. They host the Microlite Trade Fair in the spring and the LAA Grassroots Fly-In was here last summer. You can either pay your landing fees in the tower or use the AeroPS app. Microlites are very popular here. In fact, I'm told that one of the UK's first microlite training schools was based here. Airborne Aviation, based at Popham, is one of the longest running flying schools in the country, currently teaching the NPPL in its fleet of Icarus C-42s. You'll also find gyrocopters in the circuit here, and if you're interested in seeing what a gyrocopter is like, there's a business here selling experience flights. We were given a look inside some of the hangars at Popham, not something you can guarantee to be able to do if you visit yourself. However, I found a large selection of vintage aircraft that you might see flying on a good day. It's a very tidy and lovingly cared for collection. In one corner, I found this fun looking fly baby. Amusingly, it had a backseat gunner whose head moves when the pilot operates the rudder. Apparently, it used to display at air shows. Now one of the things that I like about coming into Popham is that it's a bit different and there's an interesting challenge, particularly when you're coming in on the uh, runway 26 which is just here. Now just the other side of those trees there, there is a petrol station, in fact there's two petrol stations, one the side of the A303, another one here on the final approach, short final to runway 26. And so you have to make an offset approach coming in just over there, there's a white arrow on the ground that guides you in and then just as you reach the threshold you have to do a little kink to line up with the runway. And then for runway 03, which is just here, the threshold's just there, look at those trees! So you have to avoid those and that has an offset approach as well. Um, if you're particularly wanting a challenge you can come in between those two trees and uh, line up on runway 03. So a bit different, a bit challenging, not impossible, perfectly achievable, just makes the place a bit more interesting. Here is my arrival onto runway 26 some months ago. You can see the petrol station that you have to avoid here and the tall trees on the offset final approach. If you look carefully you can see the white arrow pointing out the correct approach path. So long as you manage your speed and make a correction to line up onto the runway on short final, there's plenty of runway remaining. To settle yourself down after making your offset approach, you might need a nice cup of tea, a slice of cake or perhaps a full English breakfast. The cafe at Popham is popular and offers the usual range of meals and snacks, as well as specials Monday to Saturday. Wiltshire Aircraft Maintenance provides aircraft maintenance on site and if they can't fix your problem immediately and you're stranded here, there is a caravan that is available as a pilot's rest if you need an urgent overnight stay. The airfield offers both Avgas and UL91 fuel from a self-service dispenser and is one of only a few airfields in the country in the UK at the moment with a Pipistrelle Velis electric aircraft charger. 
As electric aircraft range improves, hopefully these will become a more normal size at airfields in future. For border force purposes, Popham is a certificate of agreement airfield and they have flight planning facilities in the tower. I'm told the team there can help you file your flight plans if needed. Like many other airfields in the UK, Popham is situated a bit in the middle of nowhere, although Mitchell Devo railway station is just over a mile's walk away. A train from there can get you to Winchester in eight minutes, with trains currently leaving on the hour. If you want a taxi, do book in advance or expect a long wait. So that's my review of Popham Airfield in Hampshire. My conclusions, I always like Popham. It's, it's a friendly atmosphere here. And that's so important when you're paying a lot of money to go flying. If you're going to visit somewhere, you want to have a friendly face, a nice smile, and people that actually want you to be there. And I'd say that is very true of Popham. And what's also interesting about Popham, uh, aside from its uh, rather quirky offset approaches to a couple of the runways, is the mix of traffic that uses uh, Popham and how hardy it all is as well. We've got microlights in the circuit today and we've got fairly gusty, miserable conditions today, to be honest, hence my hair looking the way it is. And you've got the gyrocopters here as well as, uh, as um, you know, historic aircraft and your typical C of A um, aircraft as well. So a right mix of people and interests here. I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, new feature. If you did, then please subscribe to my channel for the next uh, aerodrome review and also other high quality general aviation content. And if you're an aerodrome operator or manager and interested in me coming to visit your site and your facilities, meet some of the people there, then get in touch through my website. You can find me and contact me if you use your search engine to look up The Flying Reporter and there'll be uh, a link there to send me uh, a message. That's all for this episode. Until next time, fly safely, my friends.